Hi everyone, it's Forsythia with Cacti on White and welcome to my channel. I popped on to give you guys a quick um, view of the most recent purchases that I've made. One being the plants, the tropicals from the Equigenera and North Haven Gardens pop-up that happened last week. to take a quick moment to do a video to show you guys these plants potted up. So the first one here is the um, Anthurium regali. So I have it potted up really, really nicely. It's sitting in my woman cave. Looks really, really good. Um, it did have another leaf that didn't acclimate well. So I have removed that. It's a yellow leaf, but um, wow. What a spectacular leaf on this plant. Look at the veins, guys. Very, very beautiful. And this is an Anthurium Fingers. This is, I've had this one for a while, but since I'm here, I'll show you that. Um, yeah, so this one is in my woman cave and I need to get, I uh, plan to get a couple of new humidifiers so these guys need a little bit more humidity than I'm getting for them in this room. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna get one for my office as well. Another one for my office, which I'll, I'll show you guys. I have a couple of plants in there. Okay, I've turned around and you can see my philodendron uh, pink princess here. Looks really, really good. Got her potted up. And this is a planter that Tori gave me. Um, I believe it was for my birthday in March, actually. Yeah, this is area wear, and it does have drainage holes. This separates here, so I'll show you guys. Eek. All right, so you can see area wear. It's probably not focused, but let's see if we can see. There's the drainage holes. So it's got several nice drainage holes but I really love this planter and I was saving it for something special. And uh, I think this pink princess philodendron fits the bill. What do you think? All right, the next one is this guy on the floor here. This is a strappy leaf um, anthurium. Let me get the name for you guys. That's the name of that beauty. And I love the long, strappy leaves. They're kind of satin teen. Really love the growth habit of this. And I don't have any strappy leafed uh, anthuriums in my collection, so this is the first one. Um, yeah, and it's looking to, looking to be acclimating pretty well. So excited about this one in the collection. So these guys on the windowsill here are from my trip to uh, the Huntington Botanical for the Cactus and Succulent Society of America's plant sale and show. So I think I've posted them, the unboxing or the potting or something, but uh, yeah, just since they're in here, I'll show you guys those. This is the Dramia, probably pronouncing that wrong, but it has seeds, it put out seeds. I have the seeds, so super excited. This is a gorgeous plant. I really love the the uh, texture of the leaves and the spotting. It looks kind of like a green leopard, if there's such a thing. So yeah, and then this crested, variegated, uh, material cactus. It's beautiful. Let's see if I can get a good shot here. Probably not the windowsill. And then my Opamia is just going crazy. It's a Opamia. There you go. If we can get this to focus. All right. Doing really, really well. It's attached itself to my blinds and it's crawling all the way up. Can you guys see that? If I can get it to focus, there we go. Yeah, it's got two vines growing and they both way up here. 
and way up here. Coming all the way down, all the way down. Sorry for the backlight, I have on some plant lights, so apologies. Yeah, and then I have my beautiful pelargonium right here. Uh, it's looking really, really good. Don't mind this eyesore. And then that nook is not looking that great. All right, so I'll show you the remainder. I think that would be all of them. And then I will go ahead and close the video out. All right, guys, I am in my office because I want to show you guys the um, Equigenera plants that are in here. So this guy here, I'll show you, and it's got three leaves on it. You can see there, or four. Oh, it's got four leaves. This is the Anthurium Magnificum Silver. It looks great. So hopefully you guys can see that. Darken it here. And it's in a self-watering container that it's seemingly loving so far. It's nice and moist. And then this guy here is the Anthurium Crystallinum. All right. Uh, very, very beautiful. Sorry for the lighting. I, it, it, they are getting um, some help with plant lights here. So I'll show you guys. There. And there's a light here. But this is the crystallinum. Now this leaf looks a little sketchy. But uh, otherwise, it's acclimating pretty well. These guys here, this guy here, this is a Magnificum as well that I got in December of 2021 um, when Equigenera came to North Haven Gardens. And this is a Philodendron, can't remember the name. It's doing pretty good. It's got a few little dark spots, but that happens. I mean, they're plants, so leaves do, you know, fade away eventually. Um, but yeah, so everybody's looking really really good again i need to get some more humidity in here i think this room gets a little warm but it could have a little a little bit more moisture in it for these guys and this is one that i got last weekend this is the anthurium podatum how beautiful is that so it's a pretty tall plant i'm gonna back up so you guys can see so that's the bottom and, uh, yeah, it's pretty tall. It's doing pretty well. All right, so also my, um, let me show you guys, my Stefania here is huge and going crazy. This is not a Stefania video, but I just thought I'd show you guys that it's just going nuts so with the leaf production. See, look at that. You can barely see the codex, and the codex is humongous. The codex is very big, so let me see if I can show you. I've shown this a couple of times, so if you want to know more about my codex collection, check out that, that playlist. Okay, so you can see the codex here. It's pretty large, pretty large. But this guy, I was going to put it outside, but it seems to like it here, so I'm going to leave it here. I'm not gonna decide it not to move it. But you can see the vines here. There's one, there's one there too. Um, it's vining over here. All over here, it's vines. And then this guy down here is vining. Um, but yeah, the codex plants, the Stephanias love it here. And then my, I'm gonna show you guys, this guy's putting out some leaves, the Gonolobus right here. Look at that, how cute is that? Let me get the focus though. I can pick this up. Sorry, that's this guy. But um, and this was tiny, and now it's huge, and it fell over once, so it's telling me it's time to repot me. But you can see how big it's gotten. It's a uh, sands of area. But if I can reach here, sorry guys, I'll show you this. Turn around so it's better lighting. 
Look at that. So this is my office, so disregard anything you see. It's my Peloton right there. Okay, so yeah. How cute is that? So I, I took it out so you guys can see it. Look at the roots. But yeah, this was tiny. And now it's ready to be repotted. So have to find time to do that here in the next few days. Beautiful. I love Sansevierias. I cannot have too many in my collection. So this is the Sansevieria Silver Blue that I got in uh, California a couple weeks ago. And it lives right here. Um, yeah. I think that might be it. There's some others, but they're outdoors where they belong. Um, so yeah. But speaking of Sansevierias, I'll show you guys this beauty. Look at that. I mean, it's gorgeous. I just love that. And it's growing. It's under a grow light. Never took it out from under the grow light. Um, Gasteria here. I'm going to do a Gasteria video, I think. But this one's a beauty. Look at that. And then this is another huge Sansevieria as well. So, yeah. So, forgot about this beauty. This is the Euphorbia Suzanne. It's actually in my bathroom. It's my jewel orchid. Looking great. Um, this is a begonia. This is a ripsalis. This is one that I bought recently. Forget when. But, uh, let's see if I can show you guys the name. It's weird name. The Texas Ebony. It's this guy. Yeah, so you guys are getting a little mini plant tour. Yeah, need to water this one, I think. This is self-watering, but I don't use it as a self-watering. <laughs> take you guys back into the woman cave where, where I will end the video. There's my giant burl, burly marks. Sorry for the backlighting. Terrible. But it's humongous. I don't know if you guys can tell from this video, but it's huge. It's huge, huge, huge. And my philodendron jungle boogie is in bloom. Look how big it's gotten, guys. It's huge. It's got such a spread. Um, try not to get that light in it, but yeah, let me darken this. But it's got two beautiful buds. This guy here. Get that to focus. Yeah, that one. And this one. But yeah, and it's unfurling a new leaf here. Look at the leaves on this, how long they are. Look at that. Yeah, it's doing really well. It's been sitting here for a couple of years now. But yeah, things are doing well in the woman cave. Yeah. Uh, this one came, actually. This is an aloe tomentosa, which came from California, from the CSSA sale. It's just here temporarily. Can't really sit there long term. Yeah. There is my variegated uh, Sansevieria. It's got an offshoot here that's not variegated, but it happens that way sometimes. But yeah, but it's got an offshoot. All right. Okay, guys. I'm going to go ahead and close the video out. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you enjoy these types of videos and you haven't subscribed already, I highly encourage you to subscribe to the channel. That way you don't miss when I upload new content. And I'm pretty prolific about videos, so pretty consistent. So I think you, if you like plant videos, you'll, you'll like 
the Cacti on White YouTube channel. For all my loyal subscribers and viewers, thank you so much for watching. Can't say that often enough. I really, really appreciate your support. Um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.